Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a very very important operator. It's called filter. Anyone who knows or have been writing RxJS code will know that this is one of those operator you would use very frequently in your code. And it's actually very very powerful. Before I start with this operator, think of if you want to brush up, think of how filter method works with array. What does filter method do in for arrays? It takes a parameter and passes and helps you filter the data set right, based on certain condition. So you can filter the elements from a particular given value data set. Right? That's what filter does. This operator, which we are learning in RxJS context, also does the same. Well, let's learn in detail now. This is part 17, operator number 12 for RxJS. Please do check out the complete playlist. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do ask me your questions and com uh, queries that you have in comment section. Like I keep saying, please do go through all the playlists sequentially so that you learn and you have some kind of continuity in learning so that you can learn from basic to advanced operator with me and master them. Today we are in episode number 17, operator number 12. It's filter. So what does filter operator do? Filter operator will give will give the filter values, right? Will filter the values from source observable based on a predicate function. Okay, function is nothing but that's where you write your logic or your conditions that should satisfy for filtering. Right? So, for example, let's say I have a list data set of ten element, ten values. I want only two based on certain condition. I can easily do it with filter. Okay, so that way your work is less. You can do this in the subscribe method also, but it's just a overhead. You don't want that, right? So let's see some variations and I'm going to show you some uh, details. So let's do this. Um, let's go to hands on. So now for what I'm going to do is I'm going back to referencing the the search. Let's let's let me show you first that so we people who are new here this is what we are doing we have a search uh, input box based on the value that user enters we'll do some operation okay that's the simplest thing we have so now my condition is if i want to write a filter condition that if the character length is more than 10 right i should not call an api or let's say i should not do some work or it should not do anything further so basically I'm trying to restrict the number of characters entered by the user. Let's say that's one of the use case we have. So let's go about implementing that. So first I'm going to comment this debounce time here and I'm going to comment off this category thing. We don't need it. That way we have less code to look at. All right. So this is what it is. We have the search form, which is nothing but the form that we did using the form group and we have a form control by the name name and we are watching for value changes so we are sending the data through a pipe right this is the simplest code you can see it has a it is I'll now send the filter operator here okay and if you see here it says predicate the value followed by the arrow function which means that it will take a method so I'm going to say the value that is entered will let's say check care count okay so this is the method now let's implement that quickly okay so so this is a string right so if what we get so I'm doing if or I'm going to say return v dot length is greater than or let's say if, if it is less than 10 then we are going to say we are going to return true else we are going to write false I could have done it with if else avoid writing if else try to use this uh, less code is always good right so right try to write such um, conditional operator that would be very useful and helpful to you all right so what does our logic say I'm saying when user enters something in the search box take that value and check for character count the character count should be less than 10 if it is less than 10 it's true else it's false okay if it is less than 10 then only it will come and print else it will not let's test it so one two three four so you see here it's printing all the values nine 
now see 10 it will not do anything because we have filtered the values right so if I enter the value like this is the simplest thing I could show you in terms of let's say autocomplete or search I'm restricting the user to not enter more than 10 right so that's one of the filter criteria if it's a mobile number if it's a, let's say tax or any field which is which takes numeric values you can check that it should the value should be less than 30 less than 40 etc whatever that condition is think that instead of filtering the data here in the subscribe always consider writing it as a method and use the filter operator right some of the real-time use cases could be like um, filter if there is no user ID right um, when you make a HTTP call you get some data right so let's say you get a user data if user is not from a particular from a city do filter him or let's say if uh, salary uh, if tax bracket is less than 30 percent or let's say if the salary is or some value right some condition basically in such places you can easily write filter and use the condition right very very useful very very powerful I cannot insist you more that anything that you want to do in subscribe any data filtering you should try and move it into the filter operator with rxjs that way the code is less it's much clean and does what it is supposed to do even before coming to the subscription all right so give it a try filter method just like array filtering like you send value and it will check for something return true or false all right um, yeah that's about the filter operator very very useful again I'm insisting please do try it try hands-on with with me along with me and learn uh, let me know if you have any doubts I'll be more than happy to help you please do consider uh, subscribing to my channel also if you like my work uh, please do consider buying me coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials in the next episode we are going to learn about a new brand new operator called distinct um, no points for guessing most of these operators names are such straightforward that you can guess what it is supposed to do like distinct means give us the distinct unique values right so we'll learn about it we'll do some hands-on in the next episode so stay tuned for that join me in the next episode thank you for joining see you in the next episode bye